All right, everybody. Welcome back to Steel Rising. Welcome back to France's most notorious prison. Welcome back to... I don't remember what buttons I'm supposed to use. So I put the gun away, and I pulled out the Thousand Cut Claws just for the heck of it. And I think, actually, yeah, I took Fire and Ice up to level 5, too, just because felt like having some other stuff to play with. Um, I'm probably still going to mostly use the Bulwark Chain because... Simple fact of the matter is, I'm very much a power build at this point, and this is optimized for that. But, um, I did a little bit of extra running around. No big deal, just enough to, um, farm up the stuff I needed to get those upgraded. But, I don't know, this is kind of fun. Right, I forgot about that. So yeah, already 413 points of damage. And he's down. Like, that's it. And that's without beefing the thing up. So, you know, I still don't get the range, but this thing kills faster, I think, than the chain does. So, I'm not going to keep it around forever or anything like that, but it's fun to mess with a little bit. I'm also not getting the stagger that I'm used to, so... I do like my stagger, we know that. So right now, I don't really have... Let's see, the Countess is down there, the Gunpowder's over there. Go to the Bastille, still right there. Anyway. So the question is, obviously if I get through him, that's the right way to get to the best deal itself, but... Can I do either of these side missions before going in there is the big question. Oh, I haven't shown you this yet. Yeah, so that's the... That was the uh, R2 attack for that. That little dive thing. And, like, I've never used the R2 on this. Like, I've got a shield. I've had it the whole game. I just don't use it. So, down there, but, like... I can't get over to that. Ah! Ah! Eh. This is going to lead back to where I started. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and go into the Bastille, then. I think I have to do that before I can get to either of those. So, we're going to head back over here and beat up the big boy here. What's up, buddy? Now you're on fire. Oh. So 
this just kind of apparently pointlessly pulls me up here. I was thinking there would be something else up here. Alright, in we go. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I do love it when the enemies wreck each other for me. Like, that's not a choice that you see game designers make all that often, but... Uh... They definitely went all in on this one. Alright, there was a wall to kick in over here. It's apparently all there is in this area. Oh, there's that. Must have missed something. What did I miss? Like, okay, that door got kicked down. Come out here. There's got to be something. Oh, right here. I can just jump over this. The Moray. And this has been lit up the last few times I've been in here, in one of these, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be noticing that's new. I'm thinking about buying the volley, the volley mallet back just to re-beef that up again. Oh, is it these? Maybe that's it. Nope, still there. Weird. Like, I rejected it initially, obviously, but as we grow close to the end of the game, I just want some more variety, even if it's super slow. I hear you. Frame drop right there, that's always fun. Are we gonna crash again? Maybe. So obviously they wanted us down in the canal. That is way too high for me to be able to get to it. I'm not worrying about it.
How did you live longer than he did? compass on in a while. I wonder if I've wandered past something accidentally. Probably not. That's the canal again? Yeah, okay, that's where I just was, so there's no reason to jump back in there. don't want to be on fire, you don't have to be. Is that the canal again? I think it is, actually. The rooftops. I totally thought the floor was going to collapse out from underneath me right there. <sighs> Went to the aid of Madame de Covey in her miserable hovel, chasing off her attacker, took her to safety, and then sealed it off. Okay. Go ahead and go. Hmm. Can I get over that? Oh! 
Nope. I cannot. Okay, so we're back in the canal. Wasn't there another... But there was another point to jump up right here. How did I get up to the rooftops then? Was it over here? Right, so this I can't get through. Or did I come down here? Shoot. I definitely climbed out of this. And I came over here. on fire. Ow, definitely on fire now. Grade 3 critical repair module. Let's take a look at that. Plus critical attacks to restore a significant amount of health. Last time I had something like that, it never really seemed to do anything, so... Alright, so we've established we can't get anywhere down there. This doesn't look like it goes over, so... I'm just going to go back through that window. Because I don't think... I can't get over that from here, at least. And they said they sealed her in, so there's probably some... sort of sneakiness you need to actually get to her again. So, I think that means back down. See if that lets me unlock this. Yep. God, those chains just keep getting longer and longer.
What's this for? Nothing's ever for no reason. To get to that, maybe? Maybe to get over that wall, though I doubt it. Okay. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do or not, but... So now I can get back out this way if I need to, but again, that's not... All right, whatever. Me compañero, my dear friends, I don't deserve to outlive them. I mean, probably not. What are you blaming yourself for, Monsieur? No, get back. I'm not your enemy. My only aim is to defeat the royal army. Uh, why should I believe you? It's true that you can speak. Maybe you're truly not one of them. Dites-moi, what is this chaos? What disaster has befallen the Place Royale? That's where we loyal patriots had gathered. A band of brave souls armed with what paltry weapons we could find. A few old sabers, some rusty muskets. That's all we needed to stop the enemy's advance. Alas, the tyrant reposted from the heights of the Bastille. His cannons tore us to shreds. I could only flee while my comrades fell as heroes for our nation. What's the point of surviving if you must bend the knee to a bloodthirsty despot? Go talk to your mom, dude. Monsieur. Let's pretend that's your mom. Me now. I'll soon join my comrades. Leave me, I say. I already have one foot in the grave. And that's it. Okay. like we ought to be coming up to a Vestal pretty soon. Locked, locked. We'll turn down there in a second. Bastille's cannons destroyed the square. What a ghastly massacre. It seems that the artillerymen used Monsieur Leclos' devastating cannonballs. Sure. Hope that worked. I <laughs> hope you feel good about that decision now.
Uh oh, boss zone. Are you already? Nope. Ah, shoot, that's actually not what I wanted. Oh well. Ooh. Alright, so if you wanted to guarantee I come after you next, that's a good way to do it. I guess I can't really expect the automatons to have a healthy sense of self-preservation, can I? Bismuth blocks. Awesome. I think that might be, not that it matters all that much at this point, but I think that might be the last key I need. Nope, need one more. So all that did was open the thing. Oh, hold on, I got I have to have missed something. Oh, okay. Down there. Um Probably not a way over that fence. So let's just go ahead and go down. Okay, so where am I now? All right, there we go.
yeah, I'm just going to keep, <laughs> there's, there's no reason to worry about anything else right now. So we're going to keep doing that. One more level in power. I bet 20 is going to max it out, and then we'll start putting in other stuff. So, all right, folks, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, if you're having fun, leave yourself a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends. I'll be back soon with more from Steel Rising. And again, I think we're closing in, so we'll see how much we got left. Thanks for watching.